In this video, I'll be explaining the IXL in the geometry, all that for translations right to the rule. So this says the line GH prime, that's this apostrophe on the letter. That's how you know it's prime. So that's where you're going to. It's a translation of line GH. So here's GH, the blue one, and we want to go to the purple one, GH prime, because they have the apostrophe. Notice here it says x plus and y plus. So whenever you graph, you always want to move to the left or to the right first, because that is your x axis. So if I'm looking at g, I'm here at negative 6. And if I go to 0, that's 6 to the right. Now I need to go to g prime, which is at 5. So 0 to 5 is 5. 6 plus 5 is 11. Now that we have went to the right, we want to see how many we had to move it up. So if we're starting at negative 4, negative 4 to 0 is 4 spaces. And then we go to 2. 0 to 2 is 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. So we went over 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, and then up 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Brilliant. Here, we're starting at the blue square, and we're going to the yellow square. We need to go to the right. Now, where you might get mixed up here is you might start at U, and have the temptation to only go to S. We're looking to go to the same letter. So if we're at u, we're at negative 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we moved 12 to the right. And now if we need to go up, we got to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We went up 10. So you go to the right 12, and then you go up 10. Fantastic. Uh, let's see if we can jump to a harder one. Okay, this one. It says rectangle PQRS prime is a translation of rectangle PQRS, right? The translation rule. We are not starting with the purple one. That is where we want to go to. We have to start with the blue one. So if we are, if we are here at R, we need to move to the left. So that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 to the left. We know that on a number line, the negative numbers are on the left, so we're going minus 10. We're still working with R, now we have to move down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we went down 9. Make sure you put X because you're moving 10 units to the left on the X axis, so to the left. Make sure you put Y because you're moving down 9 spaces on the Y axis. Don't get tricky and try to put R minus 10 and R minus 9. We're talking about the axes, the X, the, the X axis and the Y axis. And that is how you would do that.